ladies and gentlemen this is Rondell Mitchell aka the how to king and on this video I actually had an idea that I needed to insert into this series okay so before we actually go into building out a page I'm actually going to actually show you an example of each and then we can actually build one on the next video okay so first off here is an example of a base capture page okay oops so a base capture page does not have a video on it okay so this is just a plain page there and you can click on masked a masked um, page looks like this a blocked page looks like this and finally your angled page this is very similar to the block style but it has an angled block okay so let's go ahead and close this out here alright so now we've closed that out so now you have your video capture page um, then obviously this is an angled video capture page uh, this is a blocked video capture page here this one is a mask a masked uh, video capture page and finally you have your plain layout video capture page which looks pretty clean if you ask me um, now let's go back once again to the funnels uh, this is an example of what a video presentation page looks like now this is obviously a blank video page um, this is a masked uh, video presentation page, which I actually like. Um, change the background on it. See how it looks. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay, so that's a masked video page. This is a blocked video presentation page. And finally, this is an angled video presentation page and this is a very nice looking page as well I like that alright so let's go back to the funnels once again uh, now let's give you a glimpse into what a, an actual video presentation would look like okay so obviously that's a, a video presentation there um, I think I already showed you that yeah I'm sorry I, went, I showed you that already okay so this is a dual video presentation page so what a dual video presentation is is you know you have your presentation here and then you have an option B presentation which might potentially be a totally different uh, thing that you have to sell or or it could be like an upsell or a downsell it could be a lot of different things that you do with the um, the second option here but you know you scroll down here and then uh, this is your second page okay so this is presentation this is presentation page one they click here for option B presentation it would take them here okay now uh, let's go back let's find a video presentation page with callback okay so were you to do a video presentation page with callback if they were to click on callback request they would be taken to this page and then obviously you can edit all of this but you know this uh, will enable them to submit a callback request for you and um, it will also add them to your SMS chat functionality that works with lead jumper okay all right so now uh, we have the base capture page video presentation so you know if you wanted to do a base capture page a basic capture page with no video they would opt in here then it would redirect them to your presentation page here okay and then obviously here's your call to action button 
for them to get started after watching your presentation. Okay, now you have the base capture page dual video presentation. So, in that scenario, they'd go to your base capture page, then they'd see your video, and then they'd have a dual video presentation again if you had a secondary option available for them of some sort. Okay? And then it would come down to another page that looks very similar. Okay. Finally, you have your video page funnels. And, you know, I don't want to be redundant with this, guys, but I just wanted to show you what's back here, you know. So this is a video page capture page um, funnel here. What one was it? Uh, a video okay so it's a video capture page and a presentation page you know so I'm gonna go ahead and change the background on this one again just to switch things up a little bit okay so this one needs to be uh, adjusted with the color scheme and everything so I put it back alright but here's a video capture capture page um, Typically, on a video capture page, you don't really want your video to be too much longer than 60 seconds um, because it should only be used as an incentive to get them to fill in their name and email and or phone number. Okay, so once they opt in there, they will then come down here to uh, the video presentation. Okay. And the same scenario here. I'm not going to be redundant and keep showing this to you guys. I think you get the, the point by now. You know, um, video capture page, video presentation. This one has option B. If they choose option B, it comes to another one. Same here. Uh, video capture page, video presentation with callback. Uh, here's the video presentation. Should they decide they would like a callback, or to request a callback rather um, they'd come here you can edit this edit that edit all this you can delete particular fields if you want to I think okay actually that all stays there okay I'm sorry okay so that's it as far as the styling goes and the uh, the options in terms of how you want to set your funnels up so finally on the next video we're going to go ahead and we're going to create an actual funnel okay so i will be back on the next video